say that age kills the fire inside of a man, that he hears death coming, he opens the door and says, come in, give me rest. That is a pack of lies. I got enough fight in me to, to devour the world. So, all right, time to get back to work. So I'm entering my second year of teaching. Last year was a big learning experience, so I'm gonna take what I learned from last year and use that to improve this year. And ideally, I would do this every single year. So one of my plans for this year is to use what's called a flipped model, where instead of learning at school and doing work at home, you learn at home and you do work in school. Now I'm gonna use a variation of this, but that's kind of the idea. I guess I forgot to update you guys that now I'm actually a middle school math teacher teaching 7th and 8th grade math. Anyway, back to the project. So in order to provide learning opportunities at home and do work at school, I'm going to be recording lessons by video and uploading them to my website. To do that, I need to have an overhead camera set up so that I can just record what I'm writing as I teach it. So that's what we're going to make today. show it to you guys. So here's how it works. I got the uh, legs here. Each side here is 12 inches. Uh, and then they each have an, a cap to level them off and a T-intersection. Then this section right here is 21 inches on both sides. That goes into a T-intersection, which goes up to a 90 degree elbow. That and that are both nine inches, and that leads into another T intersection. And then here we have 45 degree angles. These parts are primarily to provide a little bit more support uh, towards the center so that where the camera will actually be mounted doesn't sag in the middle. And it's doing a pretty good job of that. Now, how I connected these is I cut a two inch piece of PVC pipe and stuck it into both parts so that they'll stick together. And I put this ball head mount on the top of it. That way I could have the mount going straight up instead of hanging from the side. And if I want, I can just loosen the ball head mount and then do it like that. So it's versatile. So I can use it just as like a regular tripod or if I wanna do overhead shooting and shoot just directly down at what I'm trying to do, I can move around like that. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Like I said, the only thing I'm not too happy with is that kind of wobbles like that. Maybe put sand in these two or somehow try and find a way to anchor those down. Overall, pretty pleased with how it turned out. I had to take off my sweater because I was getting sweaty. Um, yeah, I'm happy so I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna put this camera on there and uh, maybe do a test run. All right, got it all set up. This is how it's gonna work. So I'll be able to do things like 23 times 18, and there we go. Well, it's time to go home. Made a lot of progress. I made uh, this little end table, pretty good. Uh, and then, well, you guys saw me make this, uh, but this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna go on top of this table, and the camera just goes right up there and shoots right down. And I can do whatever I want.
you guys think? Is it? It's September. Is it too early for Christmas stuff? <laughs> For the record, I resisted Cinnabon. It was hard. <laughs>